welcome to my first ever vlog and actually my first ever YouTube video. As a super quick intro, up until recently I worked as a management consultant in technology for one of the big four in London in Canary Wharf and I have now become a full-time content creator. Feels so crazy to be able to say that and I'm so grateful that this is now my job. That means I now have time to start YouTube, which I'm really excited about. I've always wanted to do YouTube, but with only being able to create content on the weekend, there just was not the time to be able to do YouTube alongside running Instagram and TikTok. What you can expect from me and my channel, I'm planning to have YouTube as an extension of my existing Instagram and TikTok channel. So I'll be sharing lots of fashion styling, ways to wear, casual wardrobe, all about maximizing what's in your wardrobe. And from vlogs, I want to show you BTS, behind the scenes of content creation and events, show you my favorite food places in London, new places that I like to explore because there's so many new things popping up in London all of the time. Also navigating being a full-time content creator from previously working nine to six plus as a management consultant in banking and just generally life. I feel that sometimes Instagram can be a really curated place and although I try to keep it real, I do think that YouTube gives me an opportunity to really connect with different creators that I love to watch on here. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to show you a little bit more of my personal life and get to know you guys a little bit better. I also recently moved into a new house in January. Me and Ryan, Ryan is my fiance, bought our first house in January and we're super happy to move in, but we're actually still unpacking. Who knew unpacking took such a long time? I thought we'd come in, we'd be a week in and we'd have everything unpacked. Lo and behold, a month later, we're still here unpacking. We made lots of progress yesterday, so we're hoping to continue that. I've bought quite a few things from H&M Home. I really love H&M Home. Lots of their pieces are really chic and stylish, but also neutral. I'm going for quite a um, neutral, modern, organic sort of vibe with the interiors. So I'll show you some of the things I picked up. The first thing I'm going to show you is this gorgeous glass vase. It's really big, which is ideal if you have a big bouquet of flowers. I find that vases sometimes are a little bit small and you have to wedge the flowers in. H&M have lots of gorgeous marble pieces. So this is a marble tray and we use this in our living room to pop on things like our coasters. This is actually getting really heavy because the marble tray is quite heavy itself. Candles, our wick cutter, and it just looks really aesthetic, but also keeps the coffee table nice and tidy. We can put our matches on here as well and just keep it all nice and tidy but it also looks really cute they also have marble trays and storage which you can use to pop in jewelry or makeup like little trinkets which i think are really lovely and this is what it looks like all together and it just looks really cohesive and tidy my friend also gifted these to us for Christmas and moving in, which are these gorgeous coasters from the White Company. And funnily enough, they match so well with the marble tray. They also had this really cute gold frame, which I thought I'd pick up and pop in a photo of me and Ryan. We do have a gold coffee table, so it works really well with the rest of our furniture in the living room. I would say a lot of these items I've actually picked up over the last month, month and a half. So I'm actually just picking them up from around the house. So we have these candlesticks in gold. They also have them in black and the candles to go with them, which are absolutely huge. But we thought these would be really lovely for when we have guests over on the dining table. We also lit them last night when we were having dinner 
and I just really love the really long candlesticks. I think they'll be really nice for hosting. Next up, we have this gorgeous vase. I think I bought this when it was on the sale actually, and I bought this lampshade from H&M Home as well, but it's a really good size, and I bought a couple of matching ornaments to this, so it works really well in our living room and looks quite cohesive. This is how it looks on our side table. It's just really pretty. Also got these gorgeous linen cushions and bought the cushion inserts from H&M as well. They're quite big. I think it's 60 times 60 or even bigger than that, but I really like them. We're going to have them in the spare room. So we've got two of those. And then we've got this rectangular cushion, which looks quite nice with this colour. Very tonal, neutral, everything that I love in interiors and clothes, actually. Okay, I must admit that I went a bit ornament crazy and I might pop one of these in another room because we now do have quite similar ornaments all in the living room. But how gorgeous and pretty is this ornament? I think you can also use it as a vase because it does have quite a lot of space in there. I actually have seen people use it as a vase. So can use it as a vase, but it also looks lovely as an ornament. And we've just got this on our windowsill. And then we also have this one which I've actually only just discovered that it could also be a vase because again, it has quite a lot of depth to it and we could definitely put water in there. But I quite like this one just on its own as a ornament. And I just love the shapes, they're really cool. Then I have this seagrass braided wash basket, which is quite a reasonable size. We do have two wash baskets, one in our room and one in the guest room but I really liked the braided seagrass. And the last H&M home find I'm going to share are these mugs. They are absolutely gigantic. I think I could actually have a soup or a small bowl of cereal in this mug. I really like the design and the color. And I quite like that it's really big because I can just put a really lovely cup of tea or lots of water in here and not have to keep going to refill it up. Another item that I've forgotten about, and it's this wooden tray, which I thought would be really lovely for having a cup of tea or coffee in bed or breakfast in bed, or even to put some food or pastries on and then serve in the living room on the coffee table. When I went to the Regent Street store in London of the H&M home shop, they had this tray with two of the mugs on top on a bed and I just thought it looked really lovely and I wanted to imitate that and have the same in my home because it looked really cosy and they look great together. But then also it's a versatile piece because you can use it for serving if you have guests over or even just for yourself really. Make sure you don't get food all over the sofa. Although we're trying to not eat in this room since we do have a cream carpet, it's a beige carpet. Serving to my magic side I was in a magic city 
going 50-50 I bet it all up on that red and they got real shifty Pity, pity, it's a petty crime You see how people change their vibe When a screen up on their mind Kevin fed a line But fuck if I know I'm searching for them high notes I'm slipping in my slippers Playing samples off this vinyl Getting better every motherfucking session With my freshness This is imperfection But it's such a perfect Good morning, it's Tuesday and Ryan is just giving me a lift to the train station. Have a busy day in London today with a few meetings and appointments. So I will take you guys with me, meeting with LTK, my manager first, and then I have an appointment with Joe Malone, and then a facial this afternoon. And then I might need to go and find an outfit for an event on Thursday. But I've tried to put all of my appointments and meetings into one day so that I don't have to make multiple trips into London and then I can focus the other days on filming and taking content at home. I'm still trying to get my head around the balance and trying to do as much as I can. Just having a little sit down after running around London all day. This morning had a great meeting with LTK and my manager. We talked about strategy and things that I want to achieve this year and goals. LTK is a platform where content creators can create shoppable posts. They also coordinate brand partnerships with brands and I love LTK as a partner in content creating. It's where I link all of my items so that they're easily shoppable and the team is really lovely. I'm just waiting at a cafe or sat down at a cafe and I'm about to go for a facial at Lisa Franklin. It's the Repair Renew Recover Facial. I've not been here before so I'll be interested to know what the results are going to be like. This facial is supposed to be great for giving you that glow. It includes microdermabrasion and I love microdermabrasion treatments. I used to get them regularly for like getting rid of acne spots and also reducing spots coming and keeping your skin glowing and fresh. So let's see what the results are like. I have an exciting event on Thursday so I'm hoping it's going to give me a really good glow ready for the event that I have on Thursday. Oh wow, what's this one? Yeah, so this is part of one of the oxygen applicators oh, and wow. this helps to like turn the I've been running around this morning like a headless chicken. I wanted to show you my outfit at home, but we didn't have time and then I missed the train. But luckily, I'm still going to make it on time for midday. I have an event with Lancan. It's the Bafter Experience event and they're going to have a couple of brands there who are the style partners. Lancan, GHD, Bulgari, I actually can't believe that I've been invited. So I'm going to take you along with me. Yeah, you have to get all the money shots at the background. Oh, absolutely. Make the most of this Literally, gorgeous view. I'm in oh, London yeah, without saying <laughs> So we're just getting our hair done by GHD. The lovely Andrew is giving some curls for tonight. It's quite strong, so do a little resistance. And then we All the shine. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of shine spray.
Okay, so this is the bed. It's absolutely ginormous. And then we have a huge TV, a amazing view of the Thames. And I think that's Waterloo Bridge. You've got the London Eye as well. And then if I bring you through to the wardrobe, wardrobe? Yeah, so. Oh wow, we've got an amazing bathroom. Wow, that bath looks amazing. And then here we have a wardrobe. Haven't actually talked through my outfit today. So my jacket is from Arquette. It's this gorgeous boucle fluffy material. And I've got a skirt on from Zara a little black vest top from Karen Millen and then boots, cowboy boots from Zara. These are new, the first time I'm wearing them. And then you've got wardrobes. Let's take you into the other room. I guess this is the sitting room part of the suite. It's just so spacious. So much room for activities. I can't believe I'm staying in this room. And then we've got some goodies from the brand partners. So we've got some bourbon whiskey. Um, and we've got a bag of goodies from Lancome. Ooh, and then a treat from GHD as well. I've just had my hair done by GHD and my makeup done by Lancome. And then I picked up the jewelry that I picked out from Bulgari. I actually can't believe that I'm wearing this jewelry. So I've got these stunning, stunning earrings. They're so sparkly. And this serpentine necklace. I've got some silver embellishment on my dress, so it will tie in really nicely. I've got this silver sparkly bangle. I feel like the camera doesn't do the sparkle justice. And the ring to match, they are so, 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 so sparkly. Like, look at that sparkle. It's absolutely stunning. I've also just got the keys to my room. I have about 15 minutes to get ready before we're having some photos done with the photographer starting in my room. But this room is absolutely stunning. There's this gorgeous bathtub behind me. Absolute bathtub goals. There's two showers. Two sinks, I guess, if you're staying over with someone. There's like a living room, a gigantic bed, which looks so comfy, a wardrobe, and then another bathroom when you come through the door. Had to really rush to basically get changed. My suitcase got dropped off and then the photographer knocked on my door literally a minute after and then just had to get changed. Quickly put some shimmer oil on and then have photos taken. Um, but I have five minutes now before the cocktail reception. I wanted to show you my dress. So this is the dress that I rented from By Rotation. I'm not sure of the brand, but I will pop it on the screen. And I really like it. I think it's perfect for tonight. The black tie dress code. This pack is from Bulgari and it's stunning. And it's nice and simple. I like the gold detail, but it doesn't clash too much with my silver because it's just subtle and it's the right size. It's got my phone, my lip gloss. Um, yeah, I won't fit this camera in, but I'm not gonna bring that to the club with me. I'm just doing the finishing touches to get ready. I brought Livy Espel with me. I think this is a slightly different variation. Oh no, it's just Livy Espel. Um, oh shoot, gotta be mindful of the jewelry. Um, smells great. And <laughs> little mini deodorant. And can't forget the nukes. I did put a little bit on earlier, but we had to be quick because of the photos. So need a little bit more of that wearing a Lancome lipstick today. It's called Mademoiselle Chiara in 259. It's from the La Absolue Rouge range, which is really nice because it's like a satin lip color, 
but it really stays on. Also got my Moroccan oil and I've just popped some of my hands to run through my hair. I find that just keeps the curls sleek, gets away the frizziness and also helps with flyaways. And now I think I've got to go to the cocktail reception. I'll try to vlog some things on my phone because I'm not going to bring the camera out with me because it doesn't fit in the bag. But we're going to the EE Rising Star session now where we will see the candidates for the EE Rising Star Award. And then after that, we're going to get a taxi to the Vanity Fair party, which should be super fun. I met some of the other girls earlier and they were so lovely. So I'm looking forward to having a night out with the team and the lovely girls that are here as well. Hit you up half past nine Say let's go for a ride City lights in the sky Top down, close my eyes We got no place to be Driving around aimlessly Thinking about the past And now leave the stress Let's clear the clouds This is the view this morning You can see the London Eye And the city and parliament over there and it's just absolutely stunning don't think i've ever stayed in a hotel like this in london so happy to be here so they've just brought breakfast and it looks amazing there really is quite a lot of food um definitely didn't order all of this but I will try to make my way through as much as possible of it. It looks stunning. And then this is the view for breakfast. And it looks like a nice sunny day in London too.